Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change. Hey there, ladies and fellas. Uh, we are on episode number 46 of the Ricolas podcast with me. Joining me uh, as a co host, I suppose, is. Uh, Oscar, and then we got Justin Kaufman over here as our guest. Whoa! Thank you, Justin, for joining yeah, yeah. us. Yeah, appreciate up, it. Most thank death. you, thank you. Yep. Um, man, <laughs> where do I begin? At? <laughs> nah. Um, well, I mean, I, I honestly, I brought you here because you're, you're an all-around fucking badass guy. That's what I see on Instagram. That's why I wanted to have you here, kind of. Uh, talk a little bit about you know the things that you do and who you are and so our viewers can know a little bit more about you because yeah a lot of people don't know who justin is yeah, yeah uh yeah. very quick justin my fault yeah, i didn't mean to interrupt you uh really quick if you don't know uh the, our podcast is just a little bit focused on getting some interesting guests here uh that are local you know people who are uh either entrepreneurs or artists cool. or anything of uh, anything that uh, people we find interesting we want to yeah. talk to Most so F. okay cool well yeah. hey man i appreciate it thank you and yeah, no problem so yeah. go ahead and uh, uh yeah i interrupted you so no, why don't you, you tell us a little bit about yourself hmm. Well, uh, yeah, man, um, you know, I'm born and raised in El Paso, uh, right. you know, I guess just down to it. Uh, I got five restaurants. Nice. Yeah. I got two gyms. Um, a lot of people don't know. I got a, a credit card processing company and then, uh, Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then, uh, sounds cool going? anyway. Yeah. We got an insurance <laughs> company coming and then we have, uh, the energy drinks that we just launched. So, Oh, I saw that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Actually, I, I want to get a little fridge cause I was going to hit you guys up, but I, oh, I need yeah, the little fridge first. The one that like with some, with the wine. Or man, we need to bring one here for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bernie. Yeah. Coat too. Mm -hmm. hey. yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's cool. So that's, that's a, a wide range of business. Mm -hmm. Um, what uh wh why do you branch out to so many in so many directions uh so i mean from the gyms i branched out because uh the gyms just don't make what bars make right so that right. was just i mean when i found out about how that worked your out, your limit your ceiling on that yeah yeah there's definitely ceilings man in, in everything um i mean you can always do things to i guess adjust the business to, to raise you know yeah uh, yeah those profit margins or whatever but gyms are uh a, like a long haul right you know um yeah. like if you look at the ep fitness dude i mean he's he's old as fuck and he's been doing it for a minute, yeah. you know? And yeah, so yeah. it's, it's a, it's a long investment. And so I realized that right away. And uh, when I, when I realized what, uh, again, so like I always say this, but when I, I make the guys that, that were killing in, in the bar scene, they make, um, they make in a month what I make in a year right. at the gym, you know? Right, right. And so as soon as I fucking found that out, I was like, dude, <laughs> there's, <laughs> what no, yeah, yeah. there's no way I'm, I'm staying in this <laughs> yeah. forever. So that's when I kind of switched over to that. Yeah, no, so just kind of an avenue for more money that you that you kind of maybe clearly saw or maybe were interested in? For sure, man. I mean, where, I, where I've always seen my growth um, is, uh, you know, obviously you need more money. You mm -hmm. got you to spend money to make money, you know? Really quick, do you want to yeah. um, uh, shout out the restaurants and, the, and the, like, the places that I know we're a little <laughs> shut down right now, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, so I got my two gyms, Ratio One Sixty One, and then uh, and nice. then I did Back Nine uh, was my club yeah. that I did three and a half years ago, and then we did uh, El Rey Muerto, um, uh, that's on the east side as well, and then we did El Paso Draft House, that's like right next door almost. He gives you to show you UFC fights, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember yeah, watching the fights. Oh, there. did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So cool. And then I bought Brass Monkey. Um, oh, nice. Then, yeah, mm -hmm. and then I, I I'm building uh, El Paso Draft House Two Point that's cool. <laughs> that's a cool name mm -hmm. for it too. Yep, for sure. Yep. Oh yeah. No, that's awesome. And actually, I had some good friends in. I lived in Austin for a few years, and yeah. uh, I had some good friends that were like there were three brothers, and they were pretty much killing it on on E six uh -huh. on Dirty Six, uh, and then they uh, were moving over to West Six, which in the Austin Sixth Street, the West is like the fancier part and then you get all the way to like pretty raunchy on, on, on yeah far, far yeah, east. yeah and uh and pretty so nice. I, I would uh talk to him quite a bit um and uh, i i talked to a lot of the bar people because i was an mma fighter and uh we we trained with a lot of bouncers so uh -huh. that's kind of how those relationships came about and then he told me at one point like how much that bar would make on a busy night uh -huh. um in, in austin you know and and it was just ridiculous to me you know it was something like i don't know if he's exaggerating but i think like 15 to 30 30 g's and then they would, uh, uh, you know, obviously there's a, a shitload of costs right? for that. Yeah, yeah. Like if it was yeah, like man, ACL that's, weekend. That's easy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, and I was like, easy. damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that crazy, right? What was your biggest numbers? 
You don't have to disclose anything. No, I don't. Dude, no, I don't. no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Not, just, not the numbers, so you know. but yeah, like it's you, always cool though. Like, like when people make, do because we have no idea. Like I yeah, have no idea. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so just so you know, I'm the most transparent dude. You, I mean, you'd probably ever meet. I, I just don't give a fuck. Awesome. So, Hell yeah. Yeah. So you guys can ask whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want exact numbers, but yeah. like you were mentioned ACL uh, or yeah, right? ACL. Yeah, we like on yeah. Um, so like here in El Paso, which events or dates or what bring like more revenue for you guys yeah so new year's always did really well we would make like 30 g's yeah but we did yeah. one night i can't remember it wasn't even a fucking new year's night i don't know what show we brought or or what it was but i think we did like 36 or 38 thousand that was my most successful night my night one night that's that crazy I've man i've ever had yeah, <laughs> yeah it is, it, that it's, was like a year for me out of college <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i mean it's it's uh it's something man yeah. um i mean and then I just don't want people to ever forget, like, the liability and... Uh, That's what I was saying, like, it. like yeah, plus costs. Like, yeah. And not just, yeah. like you say, financial, yeah. but, like, yeah, there's how a ton do you, of... How do you mitigate that, that fucking... The stress of being, the like... The stress and the, uh, the, the adrenaline of knowing, like, damn, like... Oh, hell yeah. You mean, like, the actual moment? That, like, uh, man, it was, a, it was definitely a figuring out process since I've never made that kind of money in my life, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, to just kind of... You know, it's my first bar that I opened. I've never even worked in a bar, and then we were just so successful. You know, it what snowballed I mean? kind of. Yeah, dude, it was. It was just. Seems it was, like it. I didn't even get caught up in it a little bit. You know. Um, yeah. To be like, honest with you. Like like partying and stuff. Like the partying yeah. and uh, you know, like the bitches at yeah, the time. Yeah. You know, I have a girlfriend now. Um, yeah, yeah. But you know, at the time, like <laughs> I just, I just didn't give a fuck. You know. No, I, 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 so this this guy you see right now was me just drunk all the time. You know? Yeah, so, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean. No, that's what my. It, it'd be hard not to like indulge in the the. The yeah. fruit of your, of your efforts Maybe, in that yeah, way. Like, sure. And then when it's like, when it returns so hard, yeah. yeah. I'd, be, I'd be going crazy a little yeah. bit too. But, you know, <laughs> just a foot, footnote. I mean, since then, I've, I've really, like, calmed the fuck down. Yeah. I had to. You have well, to. Well, I mean, to yeah. to grow to the portfolio that you just mentioned, yeah. like, it's obvious that you're not partying every night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, those days are done, man, unfortunately. <laughs> I do miss them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I, I went through, like, a little, uh, uh, dan like, EDM music yeah. phase. So yeah. Going to raves and stuff. And I was thinking the other like like pretty recent i kind of miss just you know going out doing some e and being crazy all night <laughs> <laughs> bro i miss that yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> those were like i think some of the funnest nights man hell yeah bro yeah but yeah. uh um no yeah i give it, i'm trying i'm trying to be a bit of an entrepreneur right now so yeah. it's like tired all the time <laughs> yeah 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 dude yes definitely yeah. <laughs> how do you build that that kind of callous uh so i mean i you know what dude i, I think um again I, I say this to a lot of people all the time it's it's really uh, and you hear it all the time and it's very cliche you know um like it's not work you know when it's something right, you're, right, you're right. just really fucking into yeah and, and you know what i mean you, you do it because you because you want it you know what i mean so i mean dude you know um like lately things have been really uh i guess extra tough and so you know when i get up in the morning man i'm just really fucking motivated as a matter of fact i get up knowing that i have things i need to fucking get done you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. so i got i got like missions every day man like I, I treat it like a fucking mission like i yeah and i really attack my days like that you know um so i, I just get up to fucking work and i mean i i like what i do and then i you know i like what i benefit from from it as well of course you know obviously i mean, yeah. I mean it's you know obviously like the things i get to have and, and doing stuff you know so dude it's just it's just a fucking it's a dope ass hobby that i get to fucking like live every day you know that's badass yeah oh yeah, yeah. That, that's awesome I, it's yeah. always interesting to see what like because we've had some people that are pretty into whatever they're into mm -hmm. you know uh yeah. on, and the, like i said you, you always see like this similarity in someone who's just like like razor focus mm -hmm. on on whatever their their thing is yeah for sure and to, to you it's obviously like the success of the businesses so yeah yeah you can see it for sure yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it, man. Thanks, and dude. then uh oh, yeah. and, but it's always like that like i remember uh uh um who did we have on who am i thinking of like o'brien for example that you know mm -hmm. he yeah the, he and he's like uh uh you know the guys on the motorcycles on i <laughs> tend do all kinds of crazy yeah. shit uh -huh. stunting that's what i uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, stunting. yeah yeah so he's like really into that right now so he's like knows how to control a fucking <laughs> yeah, bike like that's uh tight as shit, dude. yeah it's fucking yeah, crazy cool. i Definitely. would never no but. dude my, my balls are gone yeah, yeah but, for that kind of shit, i have no balls dude <laughs> but the fact that he does it and how good he's yeah. at it because yeah. he's fucking focused on it i'm like that's dope damn yeah. that's cool bro yeah. fuck yeah that's what's up where did that where did that start from like uh that kind of focus you think it came from crossfit is that where it all uh for sure came from yeah i think I, that's actually an interesting question man i think i think part of it 
you know, um, I think I've always been an athlete, so um, that carried over again into the gym. Obviously, it just made sense for me to open a gym because yeah. that's the only thing I knew, to be honest with you, you know. And then um, <clears throat> from there, I think, uh, man, I don't even know where it like just kind of clicked for me. It just it just happened, man. Um, but it definitely came from uh, my work ethic in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely had like has a part a to part do with to it do for with sure. It. Yeah, because I still treat my gym very serious, like my gym life, mm. you know. Um, like I don't want to ever let that go because it's such a has a, such a strong hold on me from my past, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Does your family ever give you any resistance uh, as far as how much time you spend at the gym, how how involved you are with the gym and stuff like that? No, I mean, um, I mean, I think you guys probably know from my recent situation. Uh, I don't even know if you read up on on all of it or not. Not just definitely, my, not definitely, just my arrest, definitely. But, uh, my dad's yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, okay. I did, I did tap into that. Oh, okay, I kind of okay. didn't want to. I'm like yeah. building up to it. <laughs> no, no, you good, you good. It just has something to do with okay, um, you know, uh, with with that. Yeah, I mean, my my childhood and uh, kind of like how I grew up. I mm. mean, I never wanted to be home, you know. So I was always skating or. Um, uh, you know, I was on the bikes yeah. for a while. Before that, I was like in the rollerblades like fuck a long, yeah. long time ago. You know? Yeah, this is but, um, but it's always something, man. So fuck I yeah. always, um, I took a, a really big, um, like can I, you put I was, this a little closer to you? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you, can, you can extend it. If you want. My bad. Yeah, um, yeah. I started, or I think where I really found my niche was in skateboarding. Mm. That's and then, cool. And yeah, and then it transferred into gymnastics, really like weirdly. And oh then, hell yeah! And wow. then lifting. Yeah. So yeah. You know what I found. That most of the guys that I've identified with uh, usually go that route. And in high school, I had a lot of uh, problems. Mm -hmm. um, even uh, elementary, uh, junior high, or like just super hyperactive all the time. Mm -hmm. Like having to, needing to do shit and always fucking Same. go, go, go. Yeah. So that's something that I've been dealing with as of lately. Like figuring that I'm just that fucking guy. Like yeah. there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just fucking go, go, He's go all the time. He's got to fucking channel it, bro. For that, sure. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once it's channeled, You for it's sure over, need bro. that, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, and I like sometimes I do like run myself into the ground because yeah. I'm, I'm really going and then I fucking power down and I yeah. fucking... Go out of sight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It yeah, but, but but it's like how, how you say, you know, as long as you have an avenue for that, if you just fucking spearheaded yeah. enough, you're yeah. going to you're gonna get what you want. Yeah. But you, I, I know what you mean. Like you, and I think that uh, probably we, all three of us can relate to it. Sometimes you'll, uh, you won't give yourself uh, like um, any breaks, any rest. Any, yeah. And, and I think that's what you were getting at with family and loved ones, right? How, they, how do they treat, how do they treat you in a way selfishly? acquiring your goals and what i what i mean by selfishly is like uh, uh at least personally like i forget about uh, about anything else but what i'm doing you know and i'll be like i don't know yeah, i, I feel like mean, like yeah. from my from my girlfriend for example or from my from my family from when i was younger you know they're like that's all you do mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. or you know you don't leave i guess it's with my girlfriend mostly you know you don't leave enough time for this person but it's because you're doing shit at least that's how yeah that's that's what oh, I, that's okay, how okay. it was affecting me yeah. Yeah. yeah and still still right now you know like i, I sometimes i uh i spend I, I don't give my loved ones enough time because i'm like trying to achieve this mm -hmm. i don't know how that related to the question we're getting at, no, but, no, 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 no. yeah that was a I, I didn't really see the question as that but no yeah. it's, it's uh it's true man yeah. um yeah i think uh how do you uh, mitigate does, yeah if that ever becomes an time. issue yeah so well going back to that i don't really have a family Mm -hmm. um except for my mom so my mom and i are basically in business together i mean everything we've oh, nice. done together we've just done it together yeah so she's like she's not just my mom she's my straight up homie you know that's yeah. what's up so that yeah. probably helps I don't, it honestly. helps big time yeah. is this bond like since high school elementary like yeah, when man, did you find just, it just just childhood I childhood mean, we were always real tight you know mm. she's always had my back so that's always got me through my life basically and, mm. and now we just you know we have such a passion for business that that's just cool you know it's just like another day and then my girlfriend um, is also my business partner, so it's just a big fucking kind of family business, I that's guess. That's fucking bad. With the three of us, you know. Yeah, and that's we're, dope. We're all yeah. we're all really fucking into it, man. So I think that's why it's been so successful. That's yeah. fucking badass. And yeah, it answers dang. the the question, you know, you're like, well, this person's also busy as fuck trying to reach the same goal it, I'm trying to reach. Exactly. <laughs> it's nice, bro. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it is. Yeah. In that aspect, it's it's fuck. really nice. That's, yeah, that's powerful, yeah. bro. Yeah. Thanks, man. And um, I think that uh, you know. It, it, it's definitely easier when you have some support. For yeah. sure. How would you... <clears throat> I guess, yeah. <laughs> 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 got, a little, got a little stoned. <laughs> yeah. So, good. yeah, I, want you, I do want you to dive in a little bit more, Justin, yeah. into the, what happened recently. Um, 
with uh, the law. You know, yeah, the law. <laughs> and then more than that, um, going go deeper into the, the the you know the story of how everything kind of formulated. Uh, as far as uh, just the recent arrest, right? The recent arrest, yeah. but I mean, because well, I did go into uh, well, you, the, the, the story and I did read uh, into it, but I kind of don't want to chop it up. And like I with your you, pops? You, you yeah. Mean like, yeah. You I mean like childhood? So like earlier you were saying you have a very strong bond with your mom. Yeah. And then like, I guess an elephant in the room is that we read a little bit of uh, some stuff that was on the internet about mm -hmm. kind of a rough upbringing. Mm -hmm. So you had, so, and, and that was because of your father, right? Mm -hmm. He was kind of yeah. tough so, or something. Yeah. So I'd like to clarify it and I can't speak too much on the arrest side because, you know, I just can't yeah yeah that's the, but i can that's clarify i think even to a lot of people that have read the two okay I yeah, think yeah. people are tying them together and they're not so <clears throat> you know uh yeah i was arrested i think two three weeks ago now and uh obviously i can't speak on it on the allegations because um, i hired a lawyer and mm -hmm. you know how that goes yeah, yeah. Um, and actually i have a knack for saying way too much all the fucking time <laughs> in the past so i've grown up a bit from those mistakes so i can't say shit okay yeah um as much as i want to i fucking would love to talk about it but anyway, um, <clears throat> so uh, my my dad uh, and my mom have had a, a pretty bad fallout three, four years ago. And so I'll get into that story a little bit. So back nine, my first club, uh, my dad and I did together, right? So we did it together because, uh, well, first of all, I didn't have the fucking money to do it. I only had my gyms. So I needed a loan. So yeah. he, he was my bank. Nice. So, you know, it wasn't like, and people think this for some reason. I don't know where they hear this from or what, but they think my dad just gave me some fucking money. And he's like, hey, dude, like, you know, <laughs> you know good luck, you know? <laughs> no, man. It was a fucking straight up loan, like a bank and like a fucking shark. Like, I'm dealing with a fucking shark. You know, he's not like, my oh. dad's not my homie. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So just so people are fucking very clear, uh, <laughs> my dad had me by the fucking nuts. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so, interest, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, right. Um, so, anyway, so. Uh, you know, again, the club was very successful. Him and I had a deal where he would have made me a partner. Um, he never did. So this goes into the story that I wrote. Mm -hmm. And um, and anyway, um, uh, at a, I guess after I made a million dollars, which is basically double what he put into the business to build it, um, I was supposed to be a partner. It just never happened. And so then, um, you know, I just I remember it very vividly, man. I, I didn't give a fuck. I really didn't give a fuck. You know, I was just happy to be a part of this situation that was super dope. You know, I had a lot of notoriety. Um, it was it was giving me my name, you know, that I always wanted in El Paso. You know for what sure, I mean? Like, for sure. uh, it's just it was all my hard work. For I sure. mean, you know what I mean? It was just it's just a cool fucking situation. We're bringing artists in. It's just cool as fuck. You know, so I was happy. Um, you know what? Behind the scenes, that people didn't know was the whole time and and my whole fucking childhood and past with my mom. 32 years of marriage was mm -hmm. who my dad really is and how he's been cheating on my mom forever and and uh you know yeah. him you know beating our asses and beating her ass and you know what i mean just like the whole thing so obviously as i've grown up he never fucking did that because i would fucking whoop his ass you know right but he was still cheating on my mom while i was away you know yeah. and doing other things that with my sister and all this other really fucked up shit man mm. so i didn't know about any of that at, at the time very uh dude sorry my phone is just off the hook no. um, You're fine. but um we were there, and this is happening in the club where he would, like, I remember uh, some girl who worked for us, her name's, um, actually, I probably won't say her name, because yeah. I don't know if she wants me to, but um, he had grabbed her ass in mm -hmm. the bar wow. as, as she was up putting up a bottle, right? Right. And she came and told us, and we're like, no, like, you know, <laughs> he's shitty, but he's not that shitty. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I remember we pulled up the tape, and he fucking did, right? Damn. So, you know, we brought him in there, and we're you like. You always got to have cameras. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, 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 for sure, right? So we pulled it up and, um, you know, we show him and he's like, no, nah, like, you know, like, you don't know what you're looking at. It was an accident or something. And we're like, dude, what? <laughs> like, yeah. what? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, are you fucking for real? Yeah. So I remember we just all kind of dropped it because that's just what we've done forever. You know, I guess we just kind of left it. Like, it was a one and done whatever. Yeah. You know, I, I guess I think he ended up saying, you know, it was an accident or, you know, it was he was sorry or whatever. Dude, Everyone whatever kind of right? turned the other cheek. Or yeah. Oh, yeah we've, been, we've been doing expression. it our whole lives. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, to that point. And then, um, you know, it was starting to get on me, bro. And wear me as a person that um, I, I was just kind of letting that happen in the business that I'm associated with and to my mom. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of really nasty underlying shit that that makes you feel like. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what, dude? I saw, um, this is actually really cool. Um, I saw Dave Chappelle's show the other day. And he was talking about, you know, he said a couple times now how he left Comedy Central because... Um, of how fucking racist those motherfuckers were and he just didn't want to be a part of something even with a new hundred million dollar contract mm. he still fucking walked out That's you crazy. know and you know i saw that and I, that resonated with me because i was like fuck man maybe i did do something right you know at the time maybe mm. i did make a decision based on you know some fucking 
mm, I guess noble is shit. Yeah, and, like a high moral yeah, standard or something. And so that's really what happened, man. It basically, you know, he got caught again, and uh, and I I I, uh, I I brought him into the office, and we're I was just like, dude, like, can you <laughs> stop? You know, like, can yeah. you stop? And he flipped the fuck out, um, <clears throat> like the way he gets, and uh, basically just told me, you know, get the fuck out and leave. And so I did. I fucking left, man. And uh, and this was which part were you guys? This was back nine. Yeah. So this is about six months in. So I fucking took the fuck off, and uh, even with him trying to, you know, get me to come back in and and you know say the shit he's always said, I was just fucking over it, man. You yeah. Know, I wasn't gonna be back there unless he was fucking out. So uh, sure enough, I knew that business was gonna go down. Yeah. And I thought he would sell it to me like at a reasonable price. Yeah. You know? And then pick it back up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no, man, he was going to fucking file bankruptcy. It, it went to like shit really quick. <laughs> and he was just going to fucking take it to the ground and say, fuck it, you know? Just because of his yeah, pride? Out of pride? Yeah, out of pride because he's a fucking dick, right? <laughs> and so my mom and I were talking, of course, you know, and we're like, you know, let's just trick his ass and just say, you know, um, that, you know, sell it to me. He's going to fucking fail anyway kind of thing, you know? Because yeah. really, I wasn't even sure I could pick it back up, to be honest yeah. with you, dude. It was doing so bad. And once, you know, it's, it's a, once a bar or club goes bad, they get very that rare. reputation, right? Very rare they can to pick revamp it, back up. it. Oh yeah, dude! It's like that's why they changed names so much, right? Because yes. actually, the friends I was mentioning earlier, um, when once I got down to like talking to them uh, a little bit more about the business aspect of yeah. what they're doing, I found out that they were like the owners of like the lineages of the bars, <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we had to revamp it, man, because it was you know it was, the, the hype is the new spot yeah. out here, and then the hype gets done when the new the other new spot is mm-hmm. is, is this spot. So you got to like." And then it was cool because on right there they're always out competing each other. Right. And I guess we do that here, but right there they're like literally next to each other. Some like that, like bars next to bars and next to bars. Yeah. Well, we yeah, got Cincy, yeah. you know. Like yeah, I bet yeah. they, I bet some Cincy, some owners are probably the same owners of the of the both bars or something like that. Because that's how it was over there, you know. They, they help, are. yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and yep. and they, there's just a difference in bars because I don't know to give the people variety, I suppose. Or and it's also probably a good safety net. Yeah, mm-hmm. the more you can share of your own yeah, yeah. Of people, you know. It and then you sense. open those up like separately, right? Like in a different company. How, like I don't want, I don't need to, you to get too far into your like uh uh corporate structure, uh-huh. but like for example, is each one of your business its own company? Yeah, it's its own LLC. Yeah, and yeah. then they're probably owned like by uh uh well, I don't know. That's what I was thinking of doing, of owning like getting an LLC to own multiple businesses uh of multiple of my businesses so you i mean there's just it just depends what business but there's obviously like pros and cons to it so yeah. like for instance if you own multiple bars under one umbrella yeah then if one is liable for some bad shit They're you know if someone you know gets drunk and, and gets in a car accident yeah uh, then all your bars are in some shit you know uh, okay so that's why you want to do keep separate them separate yeah J- just mostly for that reason alone. yeah yeah, yeah. like that, just for bars. yeah so, uh, like the gyms, for instance, I have them under one umbrella, right. um, you know, uh, cause it kind of makes more sense that way. Um, and I wish you could with bars because you would save a fuckload on liquor license. Oh, I didn't get think about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. How much is a liquor yeah. license in Texas? It's like 10 to 12,000. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Like 12. Yeah. I was, yeah, the, it's enough. I, I was looking to like do something like Eskimo Hut was doing or right. is doing, yeah. um, a little while ago and I was, I was, uh, looking into the numbers. So I think theirs is just wine and, and beer. Right. And it's like sick. It's like half of it. It's like yeah. sick grand. Yeah. And then, um, but they're good for two years. Right. So it's like. It's yes. like twelve over, over. It says like six a year. Which so yeah, that's you know it's good timing. But uh, like for instance, El Rey, we're just coming due for our liquor license, uh-huh. and to re up it basically is six grand. Fuck. Yeah, dude. It's more you don't than, cut more you than I want to fucking no fuck. <laughs> yeah, more than I want to fucking pay, but you know that's the way. It that's is. what Texas. That's what Texas don't tell you. They we are like we got lowest taxes, blah blah. But they're fucking fees for everything, that's true, bro. bro. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, your li- even your driver's license you lose it. That's like twenty six bucks. <laughs> New Mexico does it for free, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn, fucking New Mexico. I know. <laughs> they're that's fucking. Uh, their healthcare is pretty good compared to Texas too. Oh, dude, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, yeah no, I, me up. neither, dude. I just know that their shit's legal over there. Yeah, that's why. That's, 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 exactly, that's, right. that's pretty that's much all that matters, all matters dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good for New Mexico. Shit. Mm, so you were talking on on your dad, man. <laughs> Does he live here in El Paso and shit? Yeah, yeah. He uh, lives like two blocks from me. 
He lives too far from <laughs> You still have to like kind of see him every now and then and shit. Yeah, bro. You know why? Because he always fucking drives down my street. Yeah, like today, name? he drove down twice. And I'm like, dude, you don't have to go this way. You know? <laughs> There's three other fucking streets you could take. But no, he takes mine, bro. Just the, you know, just be that fucking, that weirdo ass dude that he is, man. Wow. Yeah. Yep. He just pisses on your lawn. <laughs> he's been on my car one time did he yeah i got on bro, the video childish. How, yeah. how did he, but how did he get that way like since you were young he's just been always that way, been or? that way man he's never changed yeah he's always always been that way and uh but that's he, crazy he comes from a really bad childhood i mean so do a lot of people it's you know like I mean? cyclical man like it is man you know but but you know what sucks dude and and this, i don't say this to a lot of people because i guess i don't get this far into it but you know he, he he's from queens new york right my mom's from Wattis. So oh, some, somehow they fucking, you know, <laughs> met and they became very successful, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my dad ended up becoming a, a family practitioner. Uh, they built houses together. Oh, nice. Um, they bought properties, um, you know, through a lot of fucking hard work they came from fucking dirt, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, My mom also was a very abused, um, you know, child and, mm. and she went through some really bad shit, you know, mm. just like my dad did. But she is fucking a most beautiful person and he's the most horrible person. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, you take what you fucking get and you fucking make yourself, you know, of, of what you want to be. Yeah, you know, yeah, not, yeah. Not what, not what you had to come from and you don't have to display that on people, you know what I mean? Mm. So, you know, unfortunately, man, he's just, he's just that guy and um, he'll never see it and I think he has really, real psychological problems that um, he's unable to like, understand that he has he yeah, has a he huge has ego that. right pretty yeah, much yeah i mean that too i think <laughs> that i think help. yeah i think when you pretty much just recognize and like admit it like you know what i do have an issue like right and that's, that's the where first you step begin, and for sure yeah. for sure mm -hmm. yeah so, do you think he'll ever do that or i don't nah. think so man no nah, i mean it's, do you want him to or man i wish yeah you wish yeah I it's wish. crazy because it sounded like you you know you, right there when you were talking about it, it sounded a little bit like you know your compassion for for the reason that that he is like the way he is, you know, and it's, and you're like, you could probably, you, I'm sure he's your dad and your they had a long, your parents have had a long marriage. So I'm sure that you have some good memories, but they're probably just very overshadowed by all the shitty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of shitty. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, it's, it's crazy that you even like have that positive, like, like you gave him a silver lining in that, you know, you're like, well, he's <laughs> shitty, but at least. You know, he's we shitty because he's, he's shitty because 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 that happens. It's because yeah. it, it. I mean, and you're. It's it's awesome that you're recognizing and you're breaking the the chains, and yeah. that's something that I've been doing in my own life as well. Good, that's Hell why yeah. I wanted to have you on here because yeah. definitely I identify. Like yeah. maybe it's not on that scale, but for me, is you know like uh, family things that we need to break, and definitely there's there's shit like you know abuse. Yeah. Uh, not rape, but you know like misconduct, misconduct, like mm -hmm. machismo and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. I'm kind of fucking fed up in mm -hmm. my family, so mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, that thing that's fucking badass. You're like, fuck it, like let's just fucking air it all out and let's mm -hmm. let's get over it. Like, cause it you, needs to be out there, man. No, it, yeah. it it it's, it was like man, it was fucking time. Like I I needed to say some shit, you know. So it just oh, I guess going back to the first point. Was, <laughs> All that, man, um, you know, it happened to be, uh, I, like I said, obviously I just got arrested and uh, and I had to put this out there because it's kind of come to that point. It's come to that head that I, it's I, it was overdue, mm. you know? So me doing it around the same time had nothing to do with each other and I think a lot of people mm. think that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, it, but it really doesn't. It's just it's just at that point it's where fucking it needed to come out. It probably was just like the, yeah. like the, what do they say, the last straw on the camel's back or yeah, something? Yeah, man, it really, it really was, man. Really I got to ask though, real quick, what's up with the yeah. nail polish? Oh yeah, bro. Um, honestly, dude, uh, it's your thing. It's my bro? color, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, you should that's see my, my toes, bro. bro. My toes are all blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. I'm weird as fuck. Dude. Uh, that's, that's cool. Dope, yeah. though. I remember uh, I uh, when I would fight. There was this huge dude that did Muay Thai. He was like a 200, 205 fiver, you know, and and that's what he fought at. No, he fought at like one eighty. So he he weighed like two hundred five, two fifteen, and he's just muscular, big ass dude. And he would always have his fucking toes and his <laughs> nails painted. That's dude. pretty dope. You're like damn, yeah. I'm getting my ass whipped yeah. by those fucking painted toes. <laughs> I remember. He's okay. like, say something. <laughs> yeah, I used to work at the bank. He was the and nicest guy too. Was, I wish I remembered his name. And I had black nails. Oh yeah. yeah what's up? And I was I was like pointing at shit like fucking. <laughs> You know, so like, I can make it obvious. Yeah. And my my boss was like, and it's a girl. She was a girl too, and she yeah. looked at me like, "Esta way." Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Say something, say something." Yeah, yeah. They're like, "Fuck, we can't." <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So your you know what your mom? I want to talk about your mom. Yeah. She sounds like she's fucking badass and she's fucking hardworking, man. Yeah, she is. She is. Jesus, like my uh, like I can compare it to my mom because. I, I find I kind of have the same story where my mom's always been there and she's been the one that's that's helped me out. But 
to that scale, like, did you ever think your mom would help you, or not help you, but be at your, in your life to that scale where, like, let's do businesses, like, let's do all of these things? Bro, you know what? Um, I, uh, I, I guess I never thought about it, like, in my younger years, but, I mean, I definitely never discounted it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I definitely never had a doubt in my mind that if I needed help or I needed her to be, you know, by my side or us do something together that she wouldn't, you know, she, she always, she always, she's always had my back, Yeah. Mm. you know? And then, um, you know, when shit hit the fan, when I, cause I, I had a lot to do with her leaving my dad cause we went to the counseling and yeah. a lot, you know what I mean? And so we, I really had to pull her out of it cause she couldn't do it herself. You know what I mean? Mm. So, um, when that finally happened and then we went through all that and then, um, it actually just made our, our bond stronger, obviously, you know? And, um, and now we, now we're just like the coolest of homies. It's like, this is the coolest shit ever, man. Fuck That's yeah. fucking yeah. dope. Mm-hmm, for sure. Do you recommend counseling for people? Oh, dude, I think counseling is so, you know what? When I went to it initially, before I got convinced to do it, um, just like any dude <laughs> yeah. out there, you know, I was so against it. You know what yeah. I mean? And I was like, dude, I don't fucking need help. Like, um, <laughs> I just, I got a gym, like, cause I, I think I had my gym at the time. Yeah, like, I'm doing fine. Yeah. You know, I just, I, I just, uh, didn't really step beside myself to see I had fucking issues, yeah. you know, that I was also projecting on people. Or even to address, yeah. Head, you know, um, I had issues, bro. I had, you know, I was a dick to my, uh, my first wife. Yeah. Um, she was a dick back, you know, but, <laughs> yeah. but, <laughs> but, we were but it, it didn't help. Yeah. It didn't help. But still, like, I, I really was, um, I was, yeah, I was kind of shitty, man. And, um, and through counseling, I realized the problems I had, which, could have fixed our marriage but she just couldn't get over some stuff and and now we're actually the, the coolest of friends as well you yeah, know yeah. we grew yeah. from that you know For sure. um, but but to my point man counseling fucking really opened up my eyes as a matter of fact if i never did counseling i don't think i would be where i'm at today because it really made me a better person you that's know? awesome that's yeah. a great yeah. great yeah. plug yeah. for the idea because i know definitely in our city uh like there's yeah. you know there's a a, a big uh, mexican influence and i think oh, yeah i think that us first generations and then it's just very frowned upon but, yeah it but, is uh but um, I don't know. I, I've I've done uh, anger management because yeah. uh, when I was young, I was kind of shitty too. <laughs> but but uh, uh, who isn't man? Yeah. 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 And um, and that's the only counseling that I yeah. think I've ever had. Mm. And my I, my yeah. mom was just like, um, not really. I'm no. pre- mm-hmm. nah. Uh, I'm still but, just but, pissed the <laughs> fuck off. I think I was just I was just like a little young, and I was like, uh, well, I wasn't that young. I was, I was like I was like 17. <laughs> okay, yeah, you. Yeah, I wasn't what that. The, that's i was just like um was i saying yeah because i remember we were planning for no never mind (laughs) yeah no it was over here actually on the off executive that's 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 street road reminding me of i grew up in the northeast men's men's mental health is really underrated like yo for sure man and when i do talk about it with my with my fiance uh and she kind of brushes me off. As far as what? As far as, you know, uh, emotions mm. or, or when I actually portray something. <laughs> so she's the problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely <laughs> not. I don't want to come off like that because I I, I barely started counseling because yeah. the same thing. Hispanic culture. Yeah. No más. No más reza. Like, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Like, I'm going to pray. But <laughs> yeah. I feel the same way right. the next day. Like, <laughs> right, right. Uh, I barely started doing that. But <laughs> yeah, good, men, man. men's mental health is really underrated and fuck like i haven't i'm gonna be straight up i haven't cried the way i cried like these fat these past few sessions that i've done like i've had like i've been doing a bunch of soul searching and all this crazy (laughs) shit man that's so good i'm glad to hear that yeah it's good man it it feels so good it does that's why that's why i brought you here i'm gonna say it again because the the free spirit that you are man like i I find i find that fucking interesting as fuck and (laughs) everything that you do and yeah um I don't know, like just the the drive to keep being who you are and keep pushing through. Like I don't think you'd be able to be who you are if you were working like a regular nine to five. Yeah, that's definitely yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely nah. not, man. I just yeah. let me know if I'm not sounding good. These things keep falling. Now nah, you're good. <laughs> All right. Do you think you you don't think so? No, nah, man. No, I I definitely need my uh like my space and my creative time and you know what I mean. Uh, things are super important to me. Um, you know, I love to fucking smoke weed. Um, you know, that's had a, a very big impact on, on uh, I think, who I am and, and, you know, my growth again. You know what I mean? I, I use it as, as I think it's intended for. Also, I love to just get high and, like, get munchies, but... Yeah, you know, <laughs> who doesn't, bro? Yeah, but I've, I've definitely used um, weed for, like, the, the quality um, the quality it has to offer, you know? Mm. Um, same thing with, with mushrooms. I've, I've done that quite a few times. I've done DMT. You know, um, DMT was fucking eye-opening, dude. Mm. Um, you know what that is or no? Well, that methyltryptamine? Yeah. So, you know, your, your dreams, you produce DMT. 
Um, so I was able to get it a synthetic version one time, and uh, and basically you dream while you're awake. Oh shit! Yeah, and it's pretty fucking. Um, you know, you really need to fucking at least try shrooms a few times before you do that because because <laughs> uh, your mind really fucking wakes up. No you know? shit. Yeah, man, and and you know to to that situation, I think um, man, I wish more people would get into weed and and shrooms and stuff because I think um, I think a lot of people are just so encapsulated with like uh human experiences you mm. know what i mean and like human law and like mm. you know there's just so much more like universal aspects of, of how people can treat people and look at people um like universal law i talk about a lot and i think it's i think it's i think it's fucking fascinating um how different they are obviously you know um, but how simplistic it is too you know and so anyway like uh, these these drugs that are out there um you know if, if you use properly when you want them to um really can tap you into that shit yeah for sure and just make you a better person dude for sure you for know sure, for sure it's it's so oh yeah. man i just i don't know i can't emphasize <laughs> that anymore yeah i think one of the biggest uh, uh things that i found because i've done streams a few times too and and i've smoked weed a long long time i don't do it much these days but mm -hmm. you know i'll talk up like right now and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then um i think that what happens is that we get we're creatures of habit you know yeah. so we get used to thinking like being exactly who we are every day right and when you when you alter your state of mind you you're you realize that you're not that robot that you've conditioned to like do those right. do be you right Man, there's like yeah. there's so much it's well said, dude, yeah. you're you're you, it's like a different mental state you're almost yeah. like a different yeah. person yeah and i feel like that scares people you know because yeah. like, it's hard to control sometimes even physically like sometimes right. it's hard to control right and and more more mentally like if you're just not being able to think with the normal neural pathways that you've already enforced right but that's where the growth happens you know right. that's For where sure. you explore that's right. where you like really L learn a lot of shit about yeah. you know like how you're saying like the superhuman experience not just what mm -hmm. the state of mind that we are when we're sober mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and i think that yeah. I, I, and like you said you know when in in their due time because it's really easy to also like that state of mind more or another one right and the um and i i think personally uh you always have to come back to homeostasis you have yeah. to leave and 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 come back to Earth. go into chaos to for change right. and growth but at the end of the day you wake up sober so i think that's a you have to be okay with yourself sober for sure dude but, but yeah. I, don't, I don't know i i love psychedelics too yeah, yeah. Uh, have you ever tried a um um uh sensory deprivation tank no i haven't dude uh those are cool man yeah i had I, a buddy who had them had one but i can't he disappeared the, <laughs> <laughs> he's like he locked his himself bed. in there dude <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he has, <laughs> he's like a conspiracy theorist and shit bro and, and he he had like a little a couple businesses going uh was was fairly successful and he just i can't get a hold of him he just disappeared <laughs> and he's like i don't know what he was because he's like way into the, the conspiracy there jesus oh, yeah. christ <laughs> dude he's I, trying a bunker in new mexico that, somewhere. Sh i bet dog i was going hard <laughs> for a minute that, like so I el mundo. like yeah that's like, how it felt for like a true. second <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I was, and then I realized that this just fucking nature, like this shit happens, like it's it was bound to happen, like oh, like it pisses me off. Social media to a certain extent does piss me off. Yeah. I fucking love it, but then it kind of <laughs> yeah. takes me on a fucking trip, and I'm like, no, like <laughs> the world's gonna end. I gotta do shit. Bill Gates did yeah. say this is gonna Bill happen. <laughs> Motherfucking Bill Gates. You know what? Though? Like it's like you're saying, cause a lot of uh, um, I I do still do jujitsu actively and uh i'm with the, a certain school that's like super known for being like weed conspiracy theorists oh, like yeah? it's like 10th planet uh, 10th planet, planet with yeah. eddie bravo and, and he's like a, a stoner and he just he changed the art form from like very strict with a kimono and mm -hmm. and uh, it's called a gi but people know it as a kimono I think or kimonos on the girls wear <laughs> kimono is the the Asian yeah traditional thing <laughs> but, but anyway uh, yeah girl is fighting kimono but you would have had me but you, you could just went with it right. yeah. oh yeah kimono fuck I'm yeah. chilling in a kimono yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no and so he was like hey man you could try this other stuff and <laughs> <laughs> you could have had me <laughs> uh, anyway sure. I'm digressing <laughs> conspiracy theories so I my feed is like just full of it and then I would get the Bill Gates one a lot like Bill Gates like honestly bro that's i've seen that one yeah that's how i came across you as well because um <laughs> you were you know how you were like they were going hard about shutting down and then you know it mm. was you you were against it definitely because you have right. you have businesses right and then all of a sudden you end up in jail <laughs> and then i'm like oh pff, 
It's there the higher ups here in El Paso. <laughs> yeah. Because Justin's going against it. They yeah. fucking put him they in jail. That is why. That's so, funny. You know, I'll debunk that one and just tell you, um, I don't think they have one thing to do with the other specifically. Um, but to like... Um, uh, Were I people mean, happy when it happened? Like... Those asshole people are like, no. Oh, yeah, should... bro. Man, people were waiting for me to fall for sure. Fucking yeah. shit, dude. Oh, man. I had I had a lot of people saying a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, I was pretty sad for like two days. <laughs> you know, and I don't get sad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't get sad. Dude. Yeah, it can get to you, bro. <laughs> It, I mean, dude, I've I've dealt with um I've dealt with this this type of adversity for a long time. So yeah. like, I, I'm really pretty tough skin as far as what people that say really I really don't give a fuck, you know. Fuck yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, there, I was reading some shit where like I mean there was some digs, you know, some, yeah. some deep ones, and I was like, oh fuck, man, <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah, you. Right, you got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't let them know they got me, but they got me. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, uh, since then, obviously, um, you know, I mean, fuck it, dude. I mean, you realize who's fucking there for you, you know, like, who's yeah, down for bro. you and stuff, and that helps. I had a lot of uh, encouraging people come yeah. up and say a lot of cool shit, and I haven't realized. I think I posted something today, actually. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, man. I, I mean, I, I've I had no idea I've had this much of an impact on this many people. I had no fucking clue. That's sure. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome to hear. And in a lot of really, you know, in 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 as broad a spectrum as possible, man. You know, mm -hmm. from business to just living your fucking life. Even yeah. one interaction, yeah. right? Like you, like maybe you had a message where like you honestly probably don't even remember the person, but you're like. Oh shit! I did that. This dude remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, right. dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. So I got a lot of that. It's pretty cool, man. I think when you when when that happens, when you get that feedback, like you realize that you know you're you're as a person morally, you know, you're doing something right. You know. Yeah, dude. And even to that point, dude. Like, um, you know, I have uh, like I said, I've been doing a lot of self reflecting lately, a lot deeper. Um, or I guess just it's been a minute because I've I've just been like on it, you know. Right. Um, but like that that Dave Chappelle thing, like when I saw that show, like that one hit me. Like Kevin Hart had a special. He said some shit yesterday where I was like, Oh, his special. Have you seen mm. the latest one? I just saw that one. Yeah, yeah that's what really I funny. just saw last night, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, But he had a, a little a little skit there where I was like, Oh shit, dude! Like that one resonated pretty heavy with me. Um, and then Do you uh, recall what it was? Um, well, <laughs> yeah, actually, that one has more to do with my girlfriend. But it ties in. Yeah, yeah, it ties in. It ties in. Um, but it was it was just very well said, and, and like I really I really felt that man. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm just doing a lot of like I'm I'm kind of taking it back a little bit on uh, who I think I am and, and what I'm actually doing and what my purpose is, you know, um, like. Um, like that, I said, yeah, I that'll like, get deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like I said, when all these people are coming at me with a, a bunch of really cool shit, like I just never had even looked at myself like that. Yeah. I had no fucking idea, dude. Honestly, I had no fucking clue that anyone even thought I was anybody uh, like special to them, not even knowing me. You know yeah. what I mean? And, You're probably uh, laser really, focused on your shit, you know? Yeah, dude. I'm just doing my thing, straight yeah. up, you know. And um, so when people tell me that, uh, I don't know. Like still now, it's very weird to even say because I've actually never even like said it, you know, yeah. in public. But um. It's just weird to say it out loud, and uh, I still don't even know how I really feel about it. To be honest with you, it's just it's just weird, bro. You know. What do you mean? What what gives you confusion? Well, like, um, dude, I've just never looked at myself in that in that light. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. It puts a different kind of like responsibility on me. I think of, of what I do and what I say, and and I actually, you know, what I mean, what I'm doing actually has a purpose to people. You know. Yeah. So yeah. they look definitely. For, they look at me for, I guess, some type of guidance. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess an, for an, a lack of a better word and. Uh, and like I don't want to let people down, you know what I mean? No, yeah, that's so, cool. And I think yeah. that's like the story of of being like of taking that role in like um uh, like like I, I was watching some shit on Netflix with like some Greek heroes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like yeah, I get what you mean. You don't want, you don't want to like fucking put yourself on a pedestal like like you're the hero, but you realize that whatever you're doing is having eyes on you and it's pos it's like positive out and you're receiving positive in. So right. yeah, I mean it's it's I think it's okay to take a little bit of of credit for like the the cool shit that you've done and and yeah. how it's affected people well thanks dude yeah. yeah yeah i'm working on this part right now as we speak and we're fucking <laughs> human you know like yeah. i know how you feel you say like damn i don't even know if i feel deserving of like this type of shit but you know if it, if it's there it's there for a reason so you, yeah. you know it's cool that you're taking it that you internalize it as as responsibility and you're like damn i don't want to let i don't want to i, I want to let these people's image of me encourage me to be that that image right yeah something yeah, like that for sure dude no man you're 
Yeah, mm-hmm. Bert, you say things pretty elo- <laughs> eloquently, dude. More better than me, for sure. I mean, you're, you're right you on point, You pretty much added all this shit <laughs> to what? <one>. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, no, you, that's very well said, dude. Uh, I mean, you, you hit it right on the... Like, no, right awesome, the awesome. Yeah, for sure. You went in deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the button. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, it's so that Netflix special, dude. I know, right? <laughs> fucking Kevin Hart got me. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you fucking lost me, dog. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being sure, it's good. Yeah, it's because you. And now I, I yeah, me perdí la verga. Um, what's going on with you, bro? I fucking yeah. you, you disappeared the whole week. I did, huh? Yeah. yeah just that. Well, I'm not salty, or nothing. Well, no, <laughs> it's because I have I've been hitting up Juan a lot because we we started uh, welding some stuff together. We, uh, he's actually building a, a garage. Uh, uh, a body shop, yeah. uh, oh, no. painting, uh, powder oh, coating, tight. everything, and uh, we're making a bigger oven. So I've been helping him out. We actually put YouTube videos up. Oh, yeah, uh, we have a yeah. Vlog we've been like on. vlogging. We got a little lazy the last couple of weeks, but we're like vlogging stuff and having like we had a project due for uh, for like Halloween where we we're trying to uh, rebuild this RV I got. Yeah, and take it on like a like a haunt, haunted. Uh, destination road trip oh that's cool yeah and i've had this idea for like a couple of years now but i never execute on it because yeah. you know you just fucking it's a it's a little side thing and yeah I, and it kind of happened again this year because we got like halfway with my rv project yeah and uh we just kind of like put it to the side because well, covid happened and then it made it harder and it just it did make it really harder and, and then, it was kind of a big undertaking and i think we didn't give it enough time well it's because you started this guy started tearing shit up Hard, <laughs> like I thought we were patching <laughs> shit up to just get going, and he started tearing shit up. Bro, like it's... every day there was like something <laughs> missing, and I'm like, "Fuck it, I guess." I Yo, guess. I should, I, and I'm. You know what I'm <laughs> most mad about? We didn't do like a. a because when you're like making videos for YouTube and stuff, you gotta think a lot about uh, how you're recording it. And there's a lot of like little things that like the viewer doesn't see, mm. but a lot of time went into the production, right? Like, oh, I can imagine. Dude. Like yeah. the fucking like I I would have loved to have taken a little bit more time and and done like a, a time lapse video every day that we worked on it uh, on the RV to like just see to it. Do that, dude. Yeah, and it, and just see it like yeah. stripped down and then maybe rebuilt back up. So we kind of selected a little bit on that, but I could still we could still uh salvage some cool like B-roll video. Yeah. But uh you do car wraps? Huh? Do you do car wraps? We we want to, but uh yeah. we're, we're right now um we're just doing uh painting, powder coating, cool. and eventually I want to I want to do vinyl. Cool. Uh cuz um uh, I even like thought the name uh what did I say? What did, no, I I thought of color coating custom color coatings because that kind of uh that's cool um it has all the like just like applying covers, applying yeah. color yeah. yeah yeah but um i had already done a bunch of stuff with my like with my last name like Gandara's auto body and so I, I was trying to do change the name and i was like oh i already have this I llc set up oh, i already have the bank accounts Jeez, for this yeah. right. so then we're, we're that but um regardless of that we're, uh right now we're Focused on growing the powder coating, yeah, and then really trying to solidify my client base on uh, on the collision repair. But as soon as uh, that gets a little bit steady, you know, and profitable, yeah, I'll expand to vinyl. Right so, on, cool. so, and I need this a f- past week. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this past week, this is where I've been. <laughs> yeah. So the vinyl. Yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah. No. Wait, what? No, no, no. It's because you kind of went off, and I never finished about this past week where I've been. Bro. Oh, oh, were no, you? You're helping him. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, right, so I was helping him, and then this week I didn't go because of this. I was uh, having a moral conundrum. <laughs> Let's hear it, bro. <laughs> oh my god, my bad. I just fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, Gandara's auto plug, body, bro, yeah. hey, you plug. know, yeah. fucking, we, I mean, we, all, we always plug it up too, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. I'm buying cars now too, if you got in a crash. Oh, <laughs> I actually have a car to sell you. Yeah. So, <laughs> my old lady, I told my old lady, I'm all like, hey, like I'm having a uh, coffin on and she's all like, he's been on Snapchat and I'm like, damn, like. Like you're really like now yeah. that all this happened, like you're really making a making a, a splash, you know. Mm-hmm. And she's all about COVID. Like fuck it, you can't be hanging out with people because of COVID. <laughs> like my my mom and my sister are like are taking like some chemotherapy pills, and oh, I can't yeah. get them sick and yeah, all of yeah, this. For sure. Yeah. And like I really want to be with my old lady, you know, but. I really want to do some dope ass shit, like yeah, yeah. So it was kind of a moral battle, like all fucking week. Like, do do I, do mm. I do some dope shit or yeah. 
do I like not kill Sarah's family? Oh, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> oh my god! Like, uh, <laughs> like oh, what's the <laughs> what's the decision here? <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. But, uh, be, beyond that, like, um, what what I was trying, what I was going with it is, um, that's uh, me going to therapy. Like, it's it's helped that because it was happening happening through there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then I just and then and I just feel like it's irresponsible to like shut shit down. Like you have to let people make Do that decision thing. for themselves. Like yeah, just normal citizens. Like if they want to go out and buy stuff and be out there, like definitely wearing their masks, hand sanitizer, whatever. But you shouldn't shut shit down. Like people should have that choice. Like right. if they want to catch live, it, to live, yeah. to die, to do whatever the they, fuck. They yeah, want. like you know what I was thinking though earlier while we we're. You say that um, the the problem is immunocompromisation with like the your your girl's family. So my sister is you know has special needs and she's immunocompromised, and so my mom is like super strict about yeah. it too, which is cool. Um, and then uh, no, 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 you're good, you're good. My but my dad, you know, he's he's a he's kind of a business guy too, and he's just all over the fucking place, and he thinks he's like being careful, but he's not <laughs> being careful at all. And uh, and. Uh, <laughs> And <laughs> and so he's in that situation, and he has a worker, uh, an employee, who um, has uh, a, a sick child as well, like who's immunocompromised. And you see that dude, like he won't ever like take his mask off, and he always has like double mask and stuff. And he's just like almost passing out from the mask. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. And I just think about it. I'm like, they're in the same exact situation. And I know my pops is carrying cool and stuff, and he like loves my sister, but he like he's a little bit more like at his own uh, uh inconvenience oh, he's yeah, not yeah, doing yeah. it he's not taking precaution yeah, and yeah. i'm like damn i'm kind of like that i'm not like i'm Who's this kid? more like selfish i'm like <laughs> like i told way. my mom and my dad i'm all like Shit, i don't want to kill you guys like i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna come over like i just won't come over because i want to do shit like i yeah. want to f- fucking do like the fucking gym I'm getting like a boner, like just thinking about the gym. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in so You're like, fucking oh, no. long. I'm coming every fuck. time. <laughs> the pump, like, I'm coming, dude. It, it, I haven't been to the gym because of that. Because I wanted to hang out with my old lady, you know, because because yeah. of that. And then now it's like, well, it's getting worse, and like there's bodies being carried out. Oh shit! Yeah, that was crazy. And then, and then she yeah, mentions she's all like, oh, but they're getting paid twenty eight bucks, like. <laughs> And I'm all like, you're getting mad at me, <laughs> but you're gonna, you rather. I'm all like, Wait, I ain't who, even mad at you for wanting to go get a bag. Like, go get a bag. Like, Wait, who's getting paid that much? But supposedly, like, they're throwing the prison these numbers. No, no, no. Because you saw that, right? They're yeah, using the prison but no, no, no. Like, regular people, like, you apply and then you get hired and you get paid like these. Bro, remember when they were doing that in Ebola and they'd pay anybody to go fucking? <laughs> oh, I bet, bro. Yeah, in Africa, that's, bro. That's way more scary. There's some there's some Probably scholarships no. that you you get like um, basically Ebola n- credits or what? The no, fuck? no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, you you basically you're like going you apply for like a. If you're going through med school, you they'll pay for your school like a like as long as but you you gotta give them like four years after you graduate or something like that. Oh, they pay for uh, everything, but you, you gotta go Ebola. Yeah, yeah, and there's oh, so there's no. some young people that had to go out there for that reason. Oh, mm, they pre- you pretty much wild. sell your life. Like, well, it's kind of like the degree. military too, you know, like when they pay for your school. I for mean, sure. Yeah, you gotta give them. Gotta it's give just the opposite, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yep. <laughs> I would do Damn. that. Fucking medical school is like two hundred G's. And you're like 17 making that decision. So yeah, I mean that that's why it's awesome that your mom and and Catalina are in the in the business. And mm. I mean, you don't really worry about them like the way this girl worry about worries about. So you know, right? I sh- yeah. sounded a bunch of like, what's it, what's it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it makes it easier, right? What well, do you th- yeah, bro. So uh, you know, the reason I had my first divorce was because uh, my <coughs> ex wife uh, Maya. Uh, again, I'm. We're really cool now, so I can I can speak freely. You know, I'm sure she does about me. But, um, <clears throat> you know, she didn't want me to, I think, we just owned the gym at the time. And then I was going <coughs> to open back nine, and she's like, no, like, you're you're going to be too busy, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean no? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, no I wasn't fun, asking. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. I mean, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and, and make as many businesses as possible and grow into something. I don't even know what yet, you know? Yeah. I don't know where it's yeah. going to go, but 
basically that had a lot to do with um you know our our ultimate demise i guess yeah mm. yeah mm. <laughs> that's and crazy. she would say that now i think she would should recognize that yeah, that yeah. wasn't cool you know yeah um so yeah well you know like it's <clears throat> when someone has that uh that that vision and and you you might only be bringing them down if you're not trying to help them achieve it. Yeah, man, that's kind of a fucked up thing to do to somebody. Yeah, and I if can't even imagine someone knowing not to do anything. Yeah, and that's if that's so the situation, sick. like not to say anything, you know. No, no, no. Yeah, that's you know, why I, I told just, I told my girlfriend or, or yeah. my fiance and my mom and my dad like <laughs> yeah, my you, you guys are being you guys are being fucking selfish like <laughs> like how the f- do you, how come you guys don't think about what the fuck I want like no 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 you gotta fucking take care of yourself because you need to come over to my house like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, like, no, uh, like I'm yeah. gonna fucking Ugh. go go have fun, and so that that was a big struggle. Like, yeah, that was it. Like yeah. fucking COVID, dog. Like, yeah. what do you what, what is your take on this whole COVID bullshit? So I mean, um, <laughs> I I'm hear your take. Fucking COVID, fucking. <laughs> I think I'm right in the. I don't, God, I can't even say the middle, man. I don't know where everyone's really at. I guess um, I, I'm just on like the commonsensical part of it, where obviously it's a fucking thing. It's fucking horrible. Fucking people are dying from it. You know, I don't discount any of it. I think people need to be responsible and wear masks and shit. I know mm-hmm. we're not doing it now, but like you know, yeah. Um, I, we're I like do it to make part. Yeah, yeah, sort of. <laughs> I, I do it to make people feel comfortable. It's not even for me, but I do it for people. You know what you I mean? You feel healthy enough to like handle it. Yeah, I, I yeah. really do. You know, I'm not me worried too. for myself. I'm worried for people, other people. You know, so yeah. I'm, I'm not doing it for me for sure. Um, you know, on the flip. Um, you know, I think people are, are definitely not understanding for businesses and people like myself who've worked very, very hard and sacrificed everything to have what I have, mm. you know, and I'm, I'm not just going to fucking close down just yeah. cause people are like, people are dying and like, I get that, you know, yeah. but, but dude, this is my fucking livelihood too. Like, yeah, you know, and, sure. yeah, like, and I, yeah. I'm doing it as responsible as I fucking can. I've spent so much money. I spent guys, I spent so much fuck tens of thousands I've spent on like, PPP precautions shit, yeah and doing as Tens much as i can to make things people. clean and like and, yeah yeah and people feel comfortable and you know what i mean like i've done a lot dude and that's like like what more could you ask from your society than to do that you know i think the government is overreaching for sure like you're like hey uh can't do anything like you know what are yeah. you supposed to do so so i think the like you say the the more the the best way to go about it is like hey so going forward um, you need to take these precautions because there's this virus that's, that's that's killing people. I think that's perfect. Like, I think that's that was my biggest argument ever. Like, just wear your mask, PPE, whatever you got to do, but don't shut shit down. Like, yeah. Well, so you know, there, there's two ways of looking at it, right? Like, you look at it at the government level where you know they're they're having their hand in this and and they really. They shouldn't. They like they. They shouldn't like they have been. In other words, like they've they've done it all fucking backwards, you know, where they yeah. could have done things better. And I think everyone recognizes that. So there's that aspect looking at it, and then you look at it from you know your your society point of view, where everyone around you is like frowning upon you for wanting to open your business. People are saying some really fucked up shit, you know. And so, <clears throat> are you good? Um, <laughs> um, so it's just really disappointing that. Um, that I have people come at me and write, you know, mean comments and talk shit to my employees for working when they're just trying to make some fucking money. Like, like, dude, that's not cool. Like, if you guys come pay our, like, our fucking bill, you know, or pay my employees, like, their salary, dude, I would be happy to shut the fuck down. I don't want to fucking be going this back and forth shit. And, and we're, we're working fucking overtime, dude, you know, going back and forth with these fucking rules. So, you know, I, I just wish, I, again, going back to, like, this canceling thing, <laughs> you know, I think I wish people would, like, step beside themselves instead of always looking at it from their point of view. You know yeah, what I mean? for sure. And look at it from other po- people's point of view. Yeah. You know, I, I've definitely looked at it from the perspective of, of doctors and nurses and what they're going through, and, and uh, I feel terrible for how much they have to work and what they have to do, you know? Um, so, you know, I'm not over there. I'm not over here like, you know, fuck it, let's go fucking party. I'm not over here partying. I'm not fucking, uh, you know, I'm not being uh, yeah. irresponsible. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not shoving that in anyone's face and being like, well, you're a fucking nurse. Like, fuck it. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, of course not. That would be fucking stupid. Just like it's fucking stupid for someone to be like, yeah, you should shut your business down just, you know, because you're killing people. Dude, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucked up, dude. So I don't know, man. I just, um, I, I, and then again, you know, I go home and I'm like, you know, should I argue with these people? Or should I, should I try to, um, you know, talk some sense to them and spend my whole fucking night winning maybe two arguments? Like, no, dude, like I just, I just go back to the work the next day, you know, yeah, and put my head sure. down and, and do what I need to do to keep my 130 employees employed. And mm. hopefully keep my businesses alive, you know? Dang. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's, <clears throat> I don't know. That's, that's why, that's why I wanted to have you on here because my, our audience is, is, uh, 
kind of different audience like they they tend to to not lean towards these more progressive ideas like uh they kind of want to you know lean a little bit more to con- not not con- I wouldn't call it conservative but mm-hmm. you know like you have to agree with the government and everything but um I've always been drawn to that to that uh crowd of people that kind of go above and beyond like extra and fucking Kind of throw a middle finger, like you know what, man? Like this, I know there's another way. I know we can make it another way. I know it's safe. Mm-hmm. Like I know this path is a good way to go. Well, dude, I'll tell you this, and I, I don't think you guys are aware of this, and a lot of people, I don't, I don't see how they would know about it, but I've talked about it. Um, mm-hmm. So I've actually, um, I've gotten some some national recognition. Um, I don't know if you saw me on like NBC News. No. Yeah, I was on oh, NBC cool. fucking news, dude. And I was even on the Washington fucking Post. Which no I thought shit. Was pretty fucking cool about some of the shit, right? So I told them both, and I've been telling anyone I really can about this this program that El Paso had, which is called it's a Build Safe program. Once I found out about it and I read on it, I was like, "Damn! Like this is the solution. It's it's at least a big part of helping out what's going on." So basically, this Build Safe thing is put in by the government. Uh, I'm sure to all local, uh, uh, yeah, I guess different cities and across the states or whatever. Right? Yeah, I'm sure it's not just El Paso, but <clears throat> what it is is um. So build safe. Can you help there? You got it, bro. I thought so, but it keeps coming. Like <laughs> Damn, you just. All right, all right. It's because it has to be like counterbalanced. Yeah, it's too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too yeah. hand job. Más para arriba, bro. Ahí está bien, está bien. Gracias. Too hand um, job. So, <laughs> so the build safe build thing safe. is a is a program in El Paso. It's a forty nine thousand dollar grant. Um, given to businesses to basically make things safer for the situation at hand. Wow. So what they do is they 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 fan. I wish. Okay, let me. I'll get into it. They uh, they do like a handful of things. So they, they put in air purifiers that basically you know filter out the air, clean clean it out, and, and throw it out. Right. Kind of like airplanes. You know every. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think they said every two minutes or something like that. Kind of the same shit. That's cool. But in your building, right? Very yeah, cool. Yeah. I, I was like, fuck, that's so dope. And then they do. Uh, you know, I told them about the plexiglass situation. How I wanted to plexiglass my fucking bar. Basically, make it fucking like like baby proof, dude. You know, for for sick people. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty Which much. Which I didn't give a fuck how my bar looked as long as it's safe i don't give a fuck about the plexiglass yeah and i was like fuck yeah that's dope it's just expensive so i would have done it myself but it's like five grand per bar and i can't fucking spend that right yeah, now you yeah. know what especially I mean? if you're not ha- if you're like 50 percent capacity yeah, or none yeah we're making like very little so yeah. so that and then they do uh what else what else what else they do like these hand washing stations and just different shit right which i was like man this is amazing dude if they just would have done that fucking shit from the goddamn beginning and, and made things safer yeah instead of fucking closing everything and and losing trillions right yeah they just could have spent maybe like a couple fucking billion into that shit or whatever the cost was or could yeah, have been, yeah. right it just would have made sense so anyway i'm all pumped about it dude no that makes sense because then you put the power to like protect in the people's hands you know dude it businesses. makes like total fucking common sense yeah. bro but it's so like what me... they're doing with solar right now they should have done the same thing stimulated like exactly yeah. exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a whole nother fucking conversation yeah. but but okay so let me finish so yeah sorry <laughs> so, so you good you good because it's kind of important so so anyway, um, well, so this was going to happen, and I got accepted into the program for all five businesses, and I'm like, man, fuck yeah, I can't fucking wait, right? And then I get arrested, and then they hit me with an email where they're just like, basically, uh, dude, you know, you got arrested for some shit. Uh, this is federal funds. Uh, we don't think we can give you this money. So I was like, fuck. And then <clears throat> after, I'm just going to make it sh- fucking short, but after, you know, a week or so, they come back to me, and they're like, we reviewed it, lawyers reviewed it, you know, we're cool to move forward, but... Uh, all the money in our program has been pulled. Uh, we basically don't have no more money. We can just give you a hand washing sink. Fuck. Yeah, and I'm like, what do you like? What do you mean? So I'm in talking a, to this in guy. a matter of a week. Yeah. So you know, so this is what happened, dude. This, I'll tell you, I'm pretty fucking sure I know. I'm speaking off the cuff, dude. Like, yeah. You know, I can't say I don't have proof or anything, but like, you know, I can only imagine the fucking dumbass judge, right? Went and uh, you know sent. Uh, I guess he had all these brought in law brought in, uh, in law enforcement agencies to shut down businesses and keep everything you know fucking stupid um, yeah. the way he planned it. Right, it spent all this fucking money on that. So he went and he grabbed out of these funds. I'm almost oh, certain, dude, because they don't just fucking dry shit. up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So this guy that I was talking to, who's running this program, um, I'll leave his name out of it, right? But yeah. he's the guy that that was head of the program. 
was like, dude, look, he's like, uh, man, we have to not just call you and tell you, you know, we can't do all this cool shit for you anymore, but we have to call 70 other businesses. And basically, I, I have no answer for you, you know? When they pull money out of here, it's not it's not my fault, you know what I mean? He's like, they pull it and they use it for who knows the fuck what, you know what I mean? Oh, so shit. we had this conversation basically of what I'm telling you right now. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, and dude, it's really fucking sad that this fucking dumbass judge or anyone who was involved thought that closing businesses and taking money and spending it on that shit was more fucking beneficial than actually fucking securing businesses for you know uh passing fucking germs you know what i mean yeah. for like, like a new future too like yeah, it's bro, like, like the infrastructure the new way it should be yeah, probably yeah, yeah. moving forward you know what i yeah, mean yeah like because obviously like ebola or, or ebola covid19 <laughs> there's gonna be another you know, there's already a ton of covid right. viruses so there's right. gonna be another dangerous another one. strand right. so we just COVID yeah it only makes sense that this that like a grant for that would be for the long term man i know so I'm, I'm telling you it was very disappointing when he fucking gave me that phone call and uh I mean, it is what it is, dude. It's, so it's now something that I'll have to put the bill for uh, when I when we open it and when I got the money. I'll definitely spend my first bit of money on basically putting fucking plexiglass all over the fucking place. Yeah, so that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. How 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 long are you anticipating for all this to go on? Well, dude, you know they, El Paso is gonna be one of the first places to get that vaccine. Yeah. So, oh, really? oh no shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, because we're at the fucking new epicenter, man. So. Oh, that's you true. Know, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So viruses. I mean, I'm sorry, the viruses. The vaccine, I think, is coming. Um, I think already next week, dude. Ninety four percent. Yeah, ninety four point seven. Well, so they're doing it in in phases. Okay. So medical professionals uh, first, I think old people second. Uh, you know, there's a breakdown. You know, we're gonna be some of the, the last people to grab it, dude. You know, and I don't even give a fuck. You know, yeah. um, I just want it in here, and I want people to get it, and I want things to be safer, so we can just fucking get back Move to on. life. For yeah. sure. Yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. I mm -hmm. agree. Dang. I, yeah. I guess I wanna I wanna play into like that big thing like whatever shots and whatever, but I I, oh. I now that you men say it that way more simpler like yeah <laughs> like for oh, you it makes okay, sense for this to roll in like yeah because everybody's gonna feel safe and they're gonna be yeah. like you know what I got the vaccine let's go have a drink like right. why the fuck not right for sure yeah bro yeah man I'm looking I'm looking forward to it <laughs> so yeah to say the least man mm. I feel like. Shit could get weird too if we get really, really afraid of germs. You know, like there's just like a, not that it's bad to be precautious, but I feel like there's a separation of like I don't know. You start losing a little bit of that, of that. Uh, not that I'm like spitting all over people or anything, well, but I mean, if you have it in your mind that you want to, that, like there's like this invisible thing that like could damage you. You know, there's gonna be more separation, like physical, and then eventual like. I think in my mind, emotional separation from people. If we don't, if like this is handled too, too much fear, like, too, to the fear mongering. Well, yeah. dude, not even at the gym. Like I wipe my machines down and shit. I, I do. But as far as washing my hands afterwards, like, I used to never fucking do that. Or like just uh, I, like I've said this before, like <laughs> restroom, like. I did wash my hands, but I'll be honest, not as much <laughs> as I do now. For sure. And I never mind. gave a fuck. Like, <laughs> even when I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, out, I'm outside, like, working on cars, like, full of grease and shit in my hands. And I fucking, I go into my Tupperware and I grab food out with my hand yeah, full yeah, of yeah, grease yeah. and I just put it in my mouth. Like, yeah, yeah. It's never been an issue for me. Right. So I, I kind of think. Now you kind of second think it? Well, I don't even say it thing yet. Like for me, it's like you guys need to do that more. Ah, yeah, so much, like uh, create like a like like a stomach like a dog. Like because my like, dog fucking eats dog, anything. Yeah. Like he drinks fucking water from the canal that's been stale with dead fish in it. That is dangerous. <laughs> and this motherfucker, like, like for him, is like a diet, not a diuretic, a uh, neck slack. So he just shits like a motherfucker, oh, man. and then he feels better. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. it's because he's a son of a bitch like i think i'm running and he should drink water he knows we're going running he should yeah. drink water before <laughs> like i put water out and everything he, and he, yeah, he doesn't ahead, drink water yeah it's like come on you son of a bitch you're, you're smart enough <laughs> you got a ton of dogs right Carl? yeah i got a uh, five wow five yeah. dogs I, yeah. I thought you only had like three of them no i got i got barkley i got it's <laughs> funny uh yeah i love barkley bro. He's my main man um i got chicle i got floof chicle uh i got um penelope and then i had <laughs> and muffin John. my muffin but she passed away uh -huh. so uh, i just use right, my P. mom's muffin. dog now yeah that's cool i got one so. dog and, and yeah, he, one dog. He's cool, yeah. I've had yeah. him like six well, years now. How's this up, dude? Do you want to make a, a a shelter, right? And what is it? A no kill shelter? Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a fucking. Um, 
Uh, it's a dream of mine, dude. I have a I have it have it all fucking mapped out, man. <clears throat> in my head, of course. That's yeah. But um, you know, I, I know what I want to do. Basically, I want to make a the one of the hopefully one of the largest no kill shelters in hopefully the country. Um, definitely put El Paso on the map as a um, kind of like a, a notable spot where where we can change uh, kind of how things are done around the country as far as saving dogs and you know humanely um, taking care of them and yeah and rehabbing them or or whatever the case may be. Right. On the flip, I think you know we can bring in homeless people, shelter them. Um, rehab them to a sense as well, you know, with animals and and otherwise. Mm. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. How to kind of you know. Like yeah, yeah. Like helps yeah. each other out. Yeah. Yeah. That's really what we are. I think yeah. any everyone should get a dog. Like, I, man, I think so too. Yeah. It's yeah. like it, I don't know how people don't have dogs. Having a dog is me. Like honestly, that like I, when I said earlier that the counseling didn't work, it wasn't really meant to be like. Uh, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what it was meant to be, but I was like, you know, I had my own line, way of thinking. But getting a dog was really. Uh, a big hurdle in like managing my anger and like really yeah. just being more loving. And, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, man, yeah. It's, it's it's crazy. I yeah, recommend man, it to I'm anybody. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that because yeah. I feel the exact same way. Yeah, yeah for sure, <laughs> definitely. Um, yep. But that's cool with the uh, like you know using rehabilitating people and and uh, dogs together. You know. Do you still yeah. have that mural of the dog? Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah. I need to go check it out. Yeah, I, that was I saw cool. it. Why do you <laughs> think? Wait. Dope. Why do y'all think there's so many homeless people like in like Skid Row and stuff? Like something like forty thousand homeless people Jeez. in LA. I I I think I think people I, I think these people at one point just just fucking they just give up, man. Like they just don't give a fuck. Like yeah. Cause I think about that like when I see you know people in the streets and shit. Like of course I give them money. Like I'm not just gonna be like straight up wonder. Like I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I do ask myself, like, whoa, well, what the fuck, dude? Like, can I master a little verga? Like, or life was that hard, or what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Well, dude, so like, if you take it, like, just back to to the basics, man. So like, um, if you don't mind me saying, so like, in terms of uh, the government and uh, the criminal justice system. Uh, the lack of, of rehab and attention to people who have problems. Yeah. Um, mm. You know, everything is spent on 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 prosecuting and and mm. and you know putting people in fucking prison and Kamala you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, just just kind of like what the stupid ass judges did and spent money on something yeah. fucking stupid instead of helping people. You know, that's yeah. a fucking a, that's a man. It's a perfect reflection of the country. Yeah, and how yeah, people run for sure. Things, you know, that's why there's so many fucking homeless people, dude. Because mm. no one fucking does anything good about the money they get to help mm. people. They spend it on dumb ass shit. You know, mm. and that's dude. That's just gonna be a, in a whole awakening of people over time. Hopefully that we'll see the bigger picture and how things are ran and how the criminal justice system is a fucking business. Yeah, you know? it is a fucking business. Um, you know, every time I get arrested, I fucking hate it, dude, because I hate how they fucking treat me, you know? Yeah. And I, I hate how they treat people even worse. Trick? Treat. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I remember when I, when I just got arrested, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, the judge was reading uh, our rights or whatever, right? And uh, this dude said, he said something kind of stupid, you know, <laughs> but uh, she was just such a bitch to him, dude, you know, yeah. and she made him feel like fucking trash, man. Like, like, like I significant. Oh, man. Like she was just so like, you don't. she don't have to fucking be that mean, bro. You know what I mean? I've, I've, she was. Yeah, I've always thought, you know, like, um, you know, actually, I wasn't I wasn't always like this. I didn't always have the balls that I do now. But now I, I'm, I'm I think like no one should no matter what your your status, you know, you're just a fucking person, you know, so like you. You speak to me and you speak to, like, you should just speak to everyone mm -hmm. the same. You know? Yeah, and for sure. And with respect because. Mm -hmm. For sure, for because sure. Because they have done nothing to not warrant your respect. Exactly. And and I don't know, it pisses me off too. And I guess when I was younger, I would, I would like, like, let's say a very uh, aggressive coach or something. I would like kind of, I would let it uh, um, uh, affect me too much, mm -hmm. you know, when someone would like kind of be a Yo, dick yeah, be yeah. Or, or like make me feel small you know? mm -hmm. yeah and then and 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 the, i mean you gotta like respect someone who knows what they're talking about and they're trying to lead you right but there's ways to say shit right and if you're like fucking trying to disrespect if you're trying to like elevate yourself to make yourself feel better because that's what it is really mm -hmm. um then i'm a fucking slow your roll because yeah. everyone's the same you know we all bleed same here bro yeah and and uh yeah that pisses me off too so that just goes kind of into that universal law thing that I was talking about. Again, dude, it's just like like he, like the how Comes humans back. have 
again, like encapsulated themselves into this 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 way of thinking and shit, and uh, and just everything I just kind of spoke about. I guess I don't go back into it, but yeah. I just uh, it's just so uh, fucking unfortunate. So go smoke some fucking weed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you need to yeah. lighten up a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fucking chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's just uh, it's kind of engraved the almost yeah. this this system kind of shit, and I I like I have I had him figured it out to kind of get out of it. But I mean, I have to to kind of have stuff, you know, like mm-hmm. to be able to have the vehicle and all of that shit. Like I have to kind of play in the system, play by the rules, yeah. So play the game, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta get good at that, cause yeah. otherwise you might end up homeless. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. And, and uh, yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't want to end up homeless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah, that's one thing too. Like you, you know, I think you gotta be grateful and you gotta uh, for sure, uh, for sure. You know, be sure. as kind as you can be, but you're also like in this shit to succeed and for sure and like who do you who which which player in the game do you want to be you know which 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 role in the in the player or whatever do you want to be in Mm -hmm. and i think you gotta you gotta take that uh competitive attitude to like life do you have to yeah yeah because yeah yeah, like you said otherwise i had a homie who passed away rest in peace andre and and uh, he was homeless i met him homeless and i met him because he would uh we're we're um we were living in a city that was getting, in, in a part of the city that was getting quickly gentrified. So I was living in a pretty nice apartment, but there was like a lot of like crack and hood and selling mm-hmm. and like crack selling and it was in the hood and shit. And so this dude would just kind of chill. And I, I think one of the guys would uh, started talking to him a bit. So he just kind of started chilling with us whenever we we're out there smoking, smoking a blunt or something. And I found out the dude was super fucking smart, bro. He was like he was like a year younger than me, and I was going through college and and doing like my fucking classes. And this dude like uh, he was really into physics, and uh, he uh, um, he like created out of microwaves and stuff. He would make these like like uh, basically like welders almost. They're like electron accelerators, oh, shit. and he would build arcs and stuff. That's cool. And and he knew like all these laws of like how to calculate. Uh, you know, electrical shit. Oh, shit. And I was like, damn, bro, you're like a fucking little genius in that head. Well, not a little, he's a big black dude. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, but he was like selling crack to stay alive, you know? Mm-hmm. And then he oh, was man. out on the streets. That fucking blows. Yeah. And he's also like a fucking, he could have been an athlete too. And, and he, we, we all got pretty close. So we kind of gave him uh, a little bit of a, of a family. And I really thought that's what was missing, you know, a little bit of a support system yeah. and a feeling of community, you mm-hmm. know, like a feeling that he belonged somewhere mm. because you know what? Kind of, I, I saw him like, as he started not hanging with us, I saw his, um, a downfall a little bit and he was just not hanging. Cause we we're like, honestly, we we're, he, he was a little bit of a weight. So we we're like, I had shit to do. So people I had shit to do. And mm. I, I didn't like leaving anybody in the crib. So, you know, so I guess he felt a little, he started separating a little bit. And he started dating some fucking weird girl that was also a homeless chick. So it, 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 he got a little weird. He stole you away from him. <laughs> nah, but, um, uh, uh, I guess he lost that sense of community and he's a big black dude so he would say that when he would go into the bus you know he probably smells a little because he didn't have a place to shower and shit mm. and people would like they react a certain way to him and he used to store the crack in his fucking mouth it was kind of gross you know uh, to not get caught up with it mm-hmm. so I think it leaks into your fucking system right yeah you got, like, crack in your gum. Shit, dude. so he started getting he started going off the rails I saw him really because for a little while I was helping him out I uh, we got his like social security his, his ID and shit like that I was like kind of I don't know trying to get him back on track and and then I saw it just like you know a downfall with, with the crack and 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 I think he just felt like he didn't belong anywhere. And people were like mm. skeptical of him, you Crazy. know. Well, dude, the system just doesn't treat people who are who, yeah. who've gotten in, um, yeah. good man, kindly, you yeah. Know? And it's yeah, it's it's like to to us, like not having your driver's license is such a trivial thing. You just fucking right. you get it on the computer, and you can get have it mailed to you or something. But even to like a cousin of mine who like is constantly in and out of the system, that dude never has an ID on him. And I'm like, dude, you gotta have your ID to function in life. Yeah. And but you think about like, damn, this dude like because they scoop it from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, get and and so. Um, it becomes really hard to get back on track. Yeah. The further you're in, the harder it is to get For back sure, on track. For sure, dude. And yeah. unfortunately, like my homie, like he would call me every now and again. He's like, hey, I'm doing real good, man, blah, blah. And I was like, that's cool, man. Hopefully, maybe my business will be strong enough to like, so you can move out here and, you know, work for me. Yeah, that's cool. And, 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 and then I just fucking saw the, uh, one of my homies called me and was like, hey, this dude died. And I was like, oh, fuck. Man. It's crazy. Yeah, he, he kind of just died out on the street, you know? Who knows what? Yeah, where. fuck, man. Sorry yeah. to hear that, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's like a fucking tragic story, but, you know, it's life happens. 
Yeah, well, that's it, common as fuck, I'm sure. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool that you're... Um, I, 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 it just gives a little bit of perspective into what we're saying. Like, who are these people, you know? Yeah, and, for sure. And just like a fucking dog who was ripping other dogs' throats apart, people could be re- rehabilitated, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, that's cool that you even think you're about that. To, yeah, for sure. That's thinking way outside the box. Yeah. That's dope, man. Anything Most else that, you want to plug in, man? Anything you want to say before we take um, off? Wrap you know, it up, wrap it up. On a <laughs> on a lighter note, man, um, those energy drinks I, know, I was right? talking about, if anyone's interested, <laughs> fuck um, yeah. you know, I got them on my website. Hey, so they good? What, uh, what they're it, dope. What are they yeah. called? Uh, it's drink ratio. So I got a ratio energy and ratio recovery. You got the blue and the red, right? Yeah, yeah. So the red is a uh, is a caffeinated, high caffeinated. This um, one. How many hydrating. milligrams? 300 milligrams. 300, oh, dang. Shit, Competing with banging. Yeah. yeah. Dang. yeah way better, bro. And better Hell in the yeah. sense of uh, it doesn't give you a fucking stomach ache and tastes like mm. shit. Because um, it's it's. I, I basically put medicine in a fucking can, so it's really like you're drinking some fucking medicine because yeah. it's really fucking good for you. Yeah, yeah. Not just well, the, I mean, besides the caffeine, which just gets yeah. you all fucking hype and shit. Yeah, that's other, arguable if it's good or yeah, bad. Yeah, for exactly. You, yeah, exactly. I put other properties in there, um, of course, that don't make you feel bad, make you hydrate, yeah. um, and just they counterbalance each other so you don't crash. Right. So right. it's a dope, clean energy drink, um, which I'm still kind of on right now. You know. Hell yeah. Um, Hell though, yeah. Even though we just did what we did, but then. Um, the recovery one is uh, the only carbonated protein and creatine blend in the country. It's <laughs> 10 grams of protein, 5 milligrams of creatine. Uh, I got electrolytes. I got glucosamine. Uh, I got BCAs. I got amino Shit, acids. for the joints? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got it all in that drink, bro. That's crazy. So basically, instead of going home after your workout and taking a scoop of protein, taking a scoop of creatine. You just taking, take that? Yeah, bro. Taking your BCAs. It's one fucking drink yeah. that's carbonated and doesn't taste like fucking chalk shit. So yeah. it's a really good, clean drink, bro. No one else can do it in the country. I'm the only one because it's patented now. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, so um, so it's dope as fuck, man. I think I have something really special, and um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big thing. No shit. Yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's fucking dope. So I'm just going to fucking put this out there then. So how, how would it compete with Juice? Juice Jerry? Yeah. So that's my homie. Um, you know, I, I like the dude a lot. Uh, you but know, he's going down. He was on, ah, the, <laughs> he was on the market um, before I was, um, even though I created my drink idea um, way before people even had drink ideas. Um, like I was just getting into the market when I got my, I, cre- I created my drinks before Bang came out with theirs. You know, oh, that's cool. so if I would have, yeah, if I would have got on the market and and took the leap of faith, yeah. you know, somehow I didn't have the money, but if I would have figured it out, yeah, uh, I probably would be where they are. Yeah, that's cool, seriously, man. you know, because yeah. because um, bank kind of just came out of nowhere, yeah, just did. like the uh, what are the alcohol- have some fucking creatine in their drink. I remember 2012, the alcohol That's when that's when I drank my first bank. Yeah, that's about right <laughs> in Odessa, cause, but they look different because. Yeah. It was it was like an arrow like going up the can. Oh, that's right, bro. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Fucking, hey, that you know, was my first fucking yeah, bang. That's right. That's I when I banged, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bang, bro. Hey, I opened up that uh that uh, vending machine, that old ass one uh that was at the shop yeah and we fucking smashed it up and the cans were all retro dude oh that's Whoa. dope yeah. i was there you get those oh yeah you opened I it up i smashed it open <laughs> <laughs> i smashed it open yeah, my homie is too high <laughs> <laughs> so your, um, your your energy drinks and your gym yeah yeah so well i got them in my gym i got them in my bars of course the drinks uh, i got them at fit fuel uh, meal preps, I got them at Muscle nice. Supplements, I got them at Juanito's Liquor Store. Uh, I just got them into all seven Vista markets, um, working on Circle K. Uh, I get a decision, I think you know, you've probably read December 1st. Oh, fuck um, yeah. To get them in all 80 stores in El Paso. And not Shit. just that, Sick, the guy dude. in Colorado is going to hopefully put me in, in a portion of the country in all Circle Ks. So if I can get that fucking deal, I mean, dude, there's no stopping this drink for sure. Fuck yeah. Hell once, yeah. once it's out there like that, I, I'm, like, I'm good, you know? Fuck yeah. So if I don't get it, I'll figure it out, but I'm I'm pretty confident. I mean, he liked it a lot. He thinks I have something really special. You know, yeah. he knows it's a different drink on the market. The, the, the name sounds like legit. It sounds like anything else I would fucking pick up on. Yeah, uh, huh? yeah, it yeah. kind of fits. So, yeah. I, I I think it's a good market to get into for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, if you uh, hit if you hit like what like three percent market share, that's like. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, people are always gonna it get. Doesn't fit. take too much. Nah, cause so, yeah, yeah, fuck. We'll see. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. <laughs> well, fuck it. So, hopefully, bro. Yeah, put out that, put it out there in the ether for you. Yeah, and then you know what, man? The reason, um, the reason why I did it finally, um, was actually because of COVID. Mm. So you know, I realized um, my health. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, although it has that, yeah, it has yeah. that quality, but um, no, man. So basically, you know, everything I own is a brick and mortar. Where I was making my money. Yeah. Um, like a hundred percent of my money. Yeah. So uh, that when I took that hit. 
and then I thought of these other avenues of making money that we spoke about earlier. You yeah. know, um, I uh, you know I knew the Good energy avenues. drink. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I knew the energy drink um, would be online and and hopefully be in stores, convenience stores and stuff, which are cool to be open. You yeah, know, whatever. Um, so that's <laughs> that's when I was like, fuck it, we need to fucking do it now. And, yeah, uh, and diversify, right? Yeah, that's man. the game of the yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Real so, estate? Oh, that's brick and mortar, technically. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't like that one too much, but mm-hmm. no, I mean, uh, real estate's uh, a different man's game. That's just as lucrative, if not more, man. It's yeah, it's its own thing my, for sure. Yeah, not, not but, my thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is more fun. I think. Yeah, I think fun. this is more. Fun. I want. Yeah. I want to do to do something similar in the in the industry. I kind of want to open up a brewery oh, at, a, at a spot we got. I uh, think it's very uh, fitting, and we can make it like uh, uh, I don't know. We can make it a real fun spot. Uh, but there's just, there's just lack of funds at the moment. We own yeah. the place, so that's cool. Oh, that's what's up. But um, yeah, that's great. Uh, but that's it's kind of a start. yeah. I, what was that? That's just a good fucking start. Yeah, no. Um, I'm I'm looking to to solidify the like the collision repair and all that shop and and get you know a good maybe. I want to say because I I'm on a, I want to partner with one of my friends' moms actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I I think we both want to get somewhere around forty fifty k together. Uh, like to put into this thing and just try and try and roll with it. Right on. Right so, so that's just a matter of time for the, for when I when I really start focusing on that idea. Well, whenever you do, I mean, I know the name of the game. So hell yeah, no, that's you, that's I awesome. I you what's up from start to finish, dude. Yeah, I think yeah. it'll be. I think it'll be cool. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up, dude. Cool, man. I dig well, it. Well, I guess. Uh, do we have anything to plug? No, no. You know what I was thinking, dude? We we should also do like um, since we uh, when we have guests, we should do something specific. Uh, that we could like uh, make a clip of, like every like Motivation Monday or something like that, you know. And we'll just there's there there'll be like a like a like a few points to hit with every guest, and then the re- like the rest will be like a fucking the regular just conversation how this has been, but okay. also something that we can make like a small video video about because this YouTube stuff it's like the the podcasts are cool. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the uh, the the uh, name of the game is is like little short clips. Video. Yeah. So oh, this is uh going on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. There's YouTube, and then there's clips on YouTube, and then I upload them as well on Instagram. So yeah, all the okay. clips and oh, when, not the actual podcast, but yeah. too long. just the clips. Yeah. I pull I put those up on on Instagram as IGTV videos. Yeah. And oh, that's cool. You can pretty much I can pretty much tag you on all of them. And then yeah. Yeah. we usually do. post anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Now the, the, it's cool that this this is its own thing too. You know, yeah. we're figuring out the YouTube uh, the YouTube way, the algorithms, the like that. Bro, that's everything's above a science. My head for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I like <laughs> that. Was I, tough, dude. <laughs> that's a whole another thing, man. That yeah, I wouldn't want to um, figure out. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's time consuming as shit. I bet it is. It is. But yeah. yeah, it'll be worth it. Oh, dude, no, it's, it's sick. Yeah, yeah. It's sick, dude. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I love it. I love the content. For sure. Yeah, it's all about adding yeah. like. I don't know. Adding value, which I think we have here. <laughs> yeah. I think you've I think this has been fun, man. It's well, been it's been cool thank you, Justin, getting bro, to know sure. you a bit. Yeah, thank you, thank up, you. Man. Thank yeah. you for having me. That's bro, why I sure. wanted to have you here so uh people can see that you're you're just fucking you're a regular guy trying to make it, like feed your yeah. family and fucking yeah. Provide for shit like yeah. I don't know why people take it to the extent to fucking wish death upon you shit like I that. Know, bro. Damn, those are those are crazy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, Thank you, yes. Justin. Thank yeah, you for being here. Thank you, Justin. We appreciate you and yeah. Don't be dicks, guys. Thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks, dude. I <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys on the next one. Good news. I am the show that they came for. Hitting the target I aim for. We've been discussing the contract. Just telling they get what they paid for. I am not fucking with poverty. Really, it started to bother me. I need the yacht with the property. They come with the view that you gotta see. Came up from the basement, hit the rooftop. Vinci Sicario. A little razzle. A little razzle dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> bitch look at me fucking like fucking <laughs> like I was looking at your pictures like fucking hanging out with your ass out oh, yeah. Kid, yeah, that, that shit's like typical me dog like I'm like I identify with this shit <laughs> <laughs> fucking alright I'm gonna do a little intro are you no you know what why don't you do the intro what episode number is this this is number you know what it's, I think it's 46 <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Yeah, we're in 46. <laughs> Damn, we got to do something for the 5-0. Oh, for the yeah. 50? Yep. <laughs>
I was gonna get a, a tattoo of 50 Cent on my body. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. 46. <laughs> it's already way. <laughs> is it recording or not? <laughs> hey, what's happening, ladies and fellas? This is episode number 54 of Terricula's podcast. 46. What did I say? 54. <laughs> 40, and I haven't drank today. Okay, 46. <laughs> 46. Ready? Okay. Set. Go. Hey, what's happening, ladies and fellas? This is episode number 46 of Terricola's podcast. With me is, uh, what's your first name again, brother? Justin. Justin Kaufman. Oh, and my we God. Got, no, no, no. Let's no, start let's over. Start yeah. over. Yeah. It's because I was going to you Jeff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ. <laughs> I just went away with it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name is Jeff. Ready? <laughs> Pause. Ready. <laughs> Ready. Set. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, I said fellas earlier. One more time. Three, <laughs> two. Hey there, ladies and fellas. Today. <laughs> <laughs>